Next, after taking the blood pressure, you'll want to take a patient's temperature. Depending upon your type of thermometer, you will um, take the thermometer. As with this digital thermometer, you'll take, um, pull out the probe, insert a probe cover over the probe, and place the thermometer probe under the patient's tongue. The, once the probe is placed in the patient's mouth, the uh, thermometer will begin cycling. And you'll hear a tone on the digital thermometers, you'll hear a tone when the reading is complete. You will then record that reading in the patient's medical record, and you will dispose of the probe in a garbage receptacle. Next, after taking the temperature, you will then take the patient's pulse. You want to use two fingers and place those over, find the radial pulse. You'll he, uh, feel the radial pulse um, against your fingers. And you want to have a watch that has a second hand on it. And you will count the number of um, pulsations that you feel against your fingers for 30 seconds. You take that number at the end of 30 seconds and multiply it by, by two, and that becomes your blood pressure reading. That tells you the number of beats per minute that the heart is beating. You will record that number, the pulse, the beats per minute, in the patient's medical record. Um, when you're taking the um, pulse, you'll have the patient rest their arm on their stomach. And after you've taken the pulse, continue to count, and, but observe the rising of the chest. And at this time, you'll take the respirations. You'll count the respirations for either 15 seconds or 30 seconds. If you count for 15 seconds, you'll multiply that number by four, and that becomes your respirations per minute. If you count for 30 seconds, you multiply that number by two, and that becomes your respirations for, um, for one minute. And you will just watch the patient's chest rise as they inhale. That will be one count. Second inhale will be two, and so on. You would then record that number in the patient's medical record. And now we have covered how to take a blood pressure, a pulse, temperature, and a patient's respirations. And that concludes the video on taking a patient's vital signs.